Karnataka, Southwest India, a land of temples, lush forests, but little electricity. With over 18,000 families lacking access to the grid, when the sun goes down, vast swathes of the region are shrouded in darkness. Solar energy has the potential to bring light to every home. The people living in these areas are never going to ac have access to electricity. The only option for them to ever access power would be to use solar energy. Set up 10 years ago, Selco Solar Energy is now working across the state, providing reliable and affordable energy to over 40,000 families. Selco's team of local technicians from Udupi are loading up a system to head off into the forest. Today they're making a round trip to the Belsangadi region to bring light into the lives of another family. When they arrive, the technicians get straight to work, opening up the roof and finding the best spot for the solar panel. Whenever we bring a solar system to a new site, we first select where to mount the panel. There are several restrictions. It must be south-facing and shadow-free. Then we consult with the customer where to keep the battery and where to install the lights. This installation will power four lights. The solar panels produce a 12-volt, 40-watt charge, which is connected to a 60-amp-hour lead-acid battery, giving each light four hours life per day. A charge regulator is installed to help recharge the battery. After just two hours, the system is up and running, much to the delight of the proud new owners. We're very happy with the new light. The children can now read with it, so we're very pleased. The word is spreading. At this women's group, they're discussing the new technology. Selco's dealer explains how the system works and how to pay. There are over 5,000 self-help groups like this across Karnataka, with women clubbing together to take out small loans. Costing roughly 400 US dollars per unit, it's crucial that financing is thought through carefully. As a group, this group has a greater chance of accessing bank funds because the, the, the bank also finds a greater security in the group uh, borrowing because there is peer pressure to return the money back and ensure that the payments are done in time. The meeting is being held at the home of Gita Koragapa, who bought her system a year ago. She saves money by not having to buy kerosene and having time to work in the evenings. After installing the solar light, I can save 40 or 50 rupees a month, which I use to pay for the loan for the system. Another crucial factor is aftercare. Selco has a network of service centres where staff provide technical support to customers. Each centre has strict monthly targets and uses local agents. The traditional problem with solar energy was systems were supplied in the areas and then it was not followed up with support. So what we have done is we have created these localised service centres within a distance of 100 to 150 kilometres from the customer's place and these centres provide service to the individual customer. Each service centre has at least two technicians who tour the region and visit each installation every three months to service the system and make sure they're being used properly. This system was installed six months ago, so it's scheduled for another service. First, we clean dust and burr droppings off the solar panel, then check float levels on the battery and top it up if needed. Then we clean the terminals and smear on Vaseline, check the current and the connections, and finally clean any insects off the lights. Bringing light to the region has also brought benefits to local traders. These street hawkers in Bundapur are all using solar power. They're members of a light cooperative project started by a local NGO in partnership with Selco and run by local entrepreneurs. There are now over 70 stores here using solar light and the scheme has been replicated in 13 places across the state. Every morning the batteries are charged using solar panels. So I take the batteries that are fully charged and come and meet the hawkers every evening at 4.30. They give me a 12 rupee fee, then they discharge the batteries in the evening and I charge them all up again the next day. And so it goes on every day. In recognition of the project's success and its contribution to sustainable development, Selco have been shortlisted for an Ashton Award. They now hope to reach the poorest sections of the community. We intend to use the Ashton Award to create income generation activities to pay back the bank loans and make solar systems viable for them. With over 46% of homes in India off the grid, 
and many more with unreliable electricity, Selco is hoping to replicate the success of Karnataka across India.